Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lecture, we will study another important concept of graph theory that is incidence matrix. Here, we will draw the incidence matrix for this graph and understand this matrix using this graph. So first of all, I want to ask you a question whether this graph is fully connected or not. I already told you the concept of fully connected graph and you have to tell the degree of this graph. So please answer this question in comment box. So first of all, what are isomorphs? Isomorphs are the graphs having same incidence matrix. Now what is incidence matrix? See this is graph and here to draw the incidence matrix or to find the incidence matrix what we have to do? We have to take some sign convention. If a branch is leaving the node then we will take plus one and if a branch is entering the node then we will take sign minus one. So here, here we will write the nodes of this graph. So rows are the no, number of rows are equals to the nodes of graph. So there are four nodes in this graph that is A, B, C and D. So we will write A, B, C and D. These are the nodes of graph. And here the number of columns in this graph are equals to the number of branches. Here number of branches are 5. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 five columns in this incidence matrix. Now how we write that? See at node A branch 1 and 2 are connected and we see that branch 1 is entering the node. So we will write minus 1 and branch 2 is leaving the node. So we will write plus 1 here. Okay and remaining all branches are not connected that's why we will take zero suppose branch is not connected then we will take zero now see the b node at the node b two three and four branches are connected two three and four branches are connected now branch two is entering the node so plus one branch two is entering the node oh sorry minus one because entering the node branch 3 is leaving the node so my plus 1 and branch 4 is entering the node so minus 1 and remaining branches are not connected so we put 0 now see the node c at node c branch number 4 and 5 are connected to it 4 and 5 and we can see that branch 4 is leaving the node that's why it is plus 1 and branch 5 is entering the node so minus 1 and remaining branches are not connected so 0 c at node d 1 3 and 5 are connected means 1 3 and 5 are connected but here we can see that 1 is leaving the node and 5 is also leaving the node so 1 is leaving the node and 5 is also needing leaving the node but the branch 3 is entering the node okay and remaining branches are not connected so in this way we can draw the incidence matrix of this graph. Now there is one important property of this incidence matrix. If you sum minus 1 plus 1 this column then it is equals to 0. And if you sum, sum this column then it is also equals to 0. So sum of each column is equals to 0. This is important property of incidence matrix of a graph. Okay, now what is reduced incidence matrix? If I eliminate a row from this graph, then the matrix left is called reduced incidence matrix. So why I am eliminating the node? In this matrix, we have to take one node as reference node. Then once we take the one node as reference node, then we delete the row corresponding to that reference node. Suppose if I take this D as a reference node, okay. So if I take this D as a reference node, then I will eliminate this D branch, this D row. So the remaining matrix is minus one 
प्लस वन वन जीरो 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 माइनस वन प्लस वन माइनस वन जीरो एंड जीरो 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 प्लस वन एंड माइनस वन सो दिस इज द रिड्यूस इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स इन दिस वी हैव एलिमिनेटेड द रो करस्पॉन्डिंग टू नोट डी वाई नोट डी बिकॉज वी टेक द नोट डी एज रेफरेंस नोट सो मैट्रिक्स वी गेट दैट इज रिड्यूस इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स now if we have to find as i already told you if we have to find number of trees of any graph whether it is fully connected or it is not fully connected then number of possible trees of graph is equals to determinant of this reduced incidence matrix into transpose of this reduced in pair in incidence matrix so if we take the determinant of this then we will get we will get the number of possible trees of the graph so this is the concept of incidence matrix it is very easy and i hope you understand the concept and its application we will see when i solve the problems related to incidence matrix i hope you understand the concept thank you jai shri ram if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel you can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos thank you